Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. You found me. Oops. Bear with me. A little housekeeping here. We're going to draw some caricatures of some caricature artists. Thought you would uh, appreciate that. So that's what we're going to do. From the book, which I'm going to bring up the book here. And uh, here's the book. If you are interested in caricature, this is a book you should get. Alrighty. Uh, I'm Cartoon Mark. Welcome to the channel. This is a live stream video. And also, uh, thank you for watching the replay. Um, this is not a how-to book. Uh, I want you to go buy the book. The link to the uh, website is in the description, I believe. I just put that in there. Uh, hang on. My a little wonky. And... Um, so this is a book uh, with a lot of caricature artists in it. It was, um, I believe, made by a bunch of different people, but mainly by, it was contributed through a lot of artists that we're going to draw on here today, but mainly by Manny Avetisian. Go check him out. Go check this website out. The website is, well, look what he wrote to me. Thanks, Mark. Enjoy, buddy. Manny Avetisian. He even gave me a drawing. Um, here's the website, ultimatecaricatureguidebook.com. So go get that. I don't want to give away the whole book. I want you to go buy it. But here's just a few. Look at that guy's face right there, huh? <laughs> if you're liking what you're seeing, uh, you're going to want to go get this. So what it is is other artists like, hmm, Tom Richmond, who I always talk about, has given his, uh, kind of his breakdown on how he drew it, stuff like that. And there's some amazing artists in here, some great work, I mean, some great exaggeration. This is, there's a lot of exaggeration in here. I'm not this exaggerated, as you know, nothing wrong with it, but, um... That's a whole topic for another discussion. But I'm going to be drawing a few of these artists here today. I've met a few of them. Not all of them are artists. Some of them are spouses. Uh, like Liz and Lo. I think we're going to draw them. I got to meet them. I even got to work with a few of them. Um, out in the field, you know, at the fairs and stuff. I, uh, so, shout out to them. Alright. Our first one is... If you're... Uh, no stranger to the internet. You've seen this guy. Alany. Alany J. Alany Jamirez. I believe is his name. Amazing, fast artist. And, um... Let's go here. Let's get rolling. Sorry, guys. Anyway, stay tuned. Here we go. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I, I, I was sitting around. I'm like, ah, it's Monday. Do I really feel like doing a video? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, we feel like doing a video. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so we're going to start with a real scratchy style and see what we see. A line of action. Okay. Um, the T-shape, his eyes are kind of pointing down. Maybe the eyes are smaller. I think the eyes are smaller. Then we're going to put a piece of paper over this and, and do our final sketch. Just for a few of these. That nose is like that. We're going to go a little more exaggerated today. But... You know, I want to stay within my, my style, you know. We're just going to have fun and, and run with it. But 
you have definitely seen, if you have seen any caricature videos, you have seen Alany. I guarantee you. He's got the most followers on Instagram, um, for caricature, etc., etc. Facebook, too, and he's, he's getting into YouTube, <laughs> and he's fine. <laughs> As with everybody, YouTube is a struggle, man. It's no easy, uh, it's a marathon. It's a lot of work. Something like this. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of forehead. And that hair. We we'll go something like this. Great artist. Great at coloring. That's what I have noticed. That Alany e is great at coloring. I don't know how good this drawing is right now. This likeness. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not so happy with this. Shoulders up here more. So let's look at the shape of the hair. It's almost like a right angle. Right? It goes like that. No detail. And then it goes up. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to try it. Here we go. The first one's always the roughest. You know that, guys. Now, let's see. Can we see under here? Can you see it? Can you see it? Kind of. I can see it. So, we're going to hit it. You have to hit that nose first. So, this is just to give you a guide when you're home. You know, in your home studio or at your dining room table. You can, you can do this. You can... You can cheat a little bit, but when you're out live, you want to do all this in your head, like Tom Richmond says, you know? Yeah, when I try to go exaggerated, it don't usually work for me. I'm more of a cute style. I aim for like a cute Disney style, so this is why this one's kind of wacky already, but we're giving it a shot. Alrighty, eyes are kind of smaller on Alany. And go buy the book, Ultimate Caricature Guidebook, uh, dot com. Um, it's a great book. It's not a how-to book. It's uh, what, what, what can be possible with caricature. Um, so my goal with this channel is to spread the uh, art form of caricature through entertainment and education. And I think we've been doing a good job at that so far. And thanks for hanging around and along for the ride with me. I appreciate you guys. He's got thinner eyebrows. Man, this guy was everywhere. He was in, what was he, in South America recently? I, I think he, maybe he's from down there. But he could speak Spanish and everything fluently. And uh, I, I love watching him when he's down there in South America. Um, I forget exactly where he was. Forgive me for that, but... Watching him interact with everybody. Oh, it was just great. The lips. I'm going to push the lips up more close to the nose. And this lip is a bit longer. There we go. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. Thanks for being in the live stream and in the replay. I really appreciate it. I think he's got a small chin. Something like that. <laughs> that forehead's going way up there. And a little facial hair. does have some little eyelashes poking through. Happy Monday to you all. Eight 
Again, the first drawing of the night's usually a little rough. This one is, uh, I don't know. I think I made his nose too long. Yeah, I made his nose too, way too long. That's why the likeness is off. But we'll run with it. we got to push through it, you know? Sorry, Alan. It's not my greatest work here. Man, ca caricature is tough, man. It looks easy. But even I can have, like, good days and bad days, you know? I mean, other days I could just not even practice and sit right down and, like, whip out some amazing caricatures. And I don't even know how it's, I did it. I, I, don't, I can't explain it. It's like a Zen thing. I don't know. And the hair. All right, now we're getting there. I think we're getting them now. What do you think? Once you get the hair, this crazy hair, it starts to come along. Now, remember, it's got this a lot of straight lines for this hair, like angles. It's going straight down like that. You got to think like this type of hair, like Bob Ross. Think like a cloud. <laughs> And something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, nose is way too long. Sorry. If I were to criticize my likeness, that that's my... Uh, I can see that already. I would have shrunk that nose a little more. But, hey, it's just practice, you know. And finishing the hair details, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying. This is Eleni. I won't write the name. Maybe we hit it with a little shading and it'll pop. Let's use a blue Prismacolor art stick. And I got a foam pad under here to help with the uh, with the art stick, you know. But go get the book if you're interested in this stuff, guys. Catch up with you in a second here. Man, my easel is slipping away from me here. Maybe it's all right. I think we are all right. I think we got a good... C plus, B minus caricature here. I'm just going to fill in quick. Got to be careful with these arch sticks. They can get away from you. You know, with these crazy lines. Let me give you a little temple line there. Let's see here. Alan E., did we get you? Yeah, I think that's all right. Hey, follow keys. Follow keys track. Inspirational Nomad Sam. Hello, my friends. Follow keys tracks. Like that channel with the Uber, Uber Eats and all that. Keep it up. Inspirational Nomad. How are you, my friend? Love you, brother. Um... Big announcement tomorrow, if you guys are still in here. Tomorrow is my uh, employee recognition twenty year, twenty years of service. I got I just hit my twenty years. Can you believe that? 
and are having a luncheon for everybody who has their five-year increments. So I got people there with five years. I got people there with 10, 15, 20 is me, 25, 30. And I believe there is a few cops that are uh, uh, 35 years, believe it or not. Yeah, they've lumped the cops in with us, I guess. So whatever. But I'm a DPW employee. <laughs> but cartooning is what we love. So here we go with this one. I don't know who she is, but I've seen her around, you know, in the caricature community. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go right at it with the marker with her. My marker's drying out a little. Oh, let me grab it. One. All right, one eye is more open, and close one is closed. You know, one's more open than the other. Like this one is more open, I would say. Um, eyebrow. Eyes appear to be close together and kind of angled in like this. So keep that angle going. And some lines under the eyes as well. Very light eyebrows, not too heavy on the eyebrow. All right, this nose, you know, obviously we're going to exaggerate it. It's not very long. Is it long? It's hard to tell because it's deceiving. I'm, I'm scared to, oh, we're just going to hit it. Let's see what happens. All right, I think we got it. Cool. Cool. Let's do the teeth. And remember, like Todd McFarlane says and Greg Capullo, teeth wrap around. It's not just fence posts. You know, her teeth, you know, the, a jaw does that. So try to depict that if you can. I like the way this one's going already. Let's do the gum line, the teeth lines, because I believe this will definitely help with her likeness. Yeah, I can tell you, this one's going good already. Ooh, I spoke too soon. I screwed up that tooth. Damn it. Oh, well. There we go, we fixed it. All right. Um, it looks like she's got a big chin, but I don't think she does. It's all in the forehead with her. And it's kind of a three-quarter view, so I'm down like that. Very pretty. I like the outfit. I like the necklace. I like the hair. Interesting look here with the with the uh, likeness in, in the forehead. More mass, you know, up above, I think. Hard to tell what that hair is doing. I think it's got like a wave to it, but... No lobe. All right. In the necklace. Cool. Other than that line on the uh, tooth, I think we did. I think this is a solid A. Not an A plus, but a solid A. Would have been an A plus if I didn't. Screw up that one tooth line right there. I got I got too confident. <laughs> and the hair. 
I forget who she is, honestly. I think she dates one of the guys. I don't I think she's an artist. I think I'm going to draw her her uh, boyfriend next. I think I don't know. I can't. I can't remember who's who anymore, guys. We got so many artists nowadays, and uh, they're all great, and it's just really inspiring, you know. <laughs> That's a fun one. That was a fun one, wasn't it? Kind of funny with those eyes. Whoop. My laptop's right in my way. Sorry. Technical difficulties. So, go get this book. It's a really good book. Just follow the contours of the face. Think of the face as like topography of a mountain, you know? That's it, it, all it is. A little shading there, here, there, and everywhere. There we go. Boom. Hey, Dodgy Doodles. Good evening, Mark. Or rather, good morning here in the UK. Yes, Dodgy. It is morning over there, isn't it? Thanks for tuning in. Ah, look at this guy. Um, <laughs> again, I, I, I've seen these guys on Instagram or wherever, but I, I only know a few of them. I only had the chance to meet one or two of them. And they're all great, you know. Amazing artists. Um... Let's try this one. This one might be a little tricky, but we're going to go for it. Nose. Eye. Sometimes I draw the whole shape of the eyebrow and then fill it in, depending on what's going on with the eyebrow. Like this one, I'll do the whole shape of it, you know. And this is not the greatest photo. It's a little grainy, so... Apologize for that. And this is not a how-to book, but you really should uh, get it if you're interested in caricature. Got a small mouth. And some small little baby teeth there. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate it. It's Monday. I'm a little pooped from the day job, so sorry if I'm not all that talkative. It was a rough day at the day job rough day but we fought through it and got through it that's what matters <laughs> all right chin very angular uh, face here and let's start hitting some of this facial hair and then we'll hit the glasses he got some weird facial hair, like no mustache, but like kind of shaved here and there, but then shaves under his lip. Uh, what's with these guys? I don't get it. Like, they're very particular. Like, you got to take a lot of effort to do that. I, I don't have that much time on my hand. I just uh, shave it and go, bro. But hey, that's what makes the world interesting, as they say. I don't judge. Do what you want to do. <laughs> Pardon my commentary. Oh, jeez. Yeah, look at that. The facial hair goes up here to a point and then just kind of goes nowhere. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't try to get it. <laughs> Glasses. All right. 
Obviously, this is a prominent feature are the glasses. They do go up a little bit on the upper frame. And they do come in here. So you got to caricature your glasses. That is important. And wow, this forehead goes way back like that. Wow, he almost looks like that superhero, that villain uh, against Spider-Man there, that Green Goblin guy, doesn't he? Green Goblin, am I saying that right? His face reminds me of that Green Goblin's mask. Got a hoodie on. Zipper. I forget where this guy's from. I think he's in Europe. I don't know. I could be wrong. All right. Hair kind of goes here, there, and everywhere, and then straight down. Boom. <laughs> That's how we landed with the hair. I like it. Cartoony. All right. This one came out good. I like it. You know what we forgot? Look at the forehead. Look at these wrinkles. He's doing that with his expression and hey, that's that's what you got. Okay, smiley. Hey, yeah, I can tell you he's a real yucker. You no, know, you know what a yucker is? Like these guys on the radio who yuck it up. Hey, welcome to the channel or welcome to the radio station. Uh let's do the weather and traffic. That's what I think of this guy. Oh my God! What is what is with these guys? What's with me? Maybe I'm the maybe I'm the crazy one. <laughs> um, do some lines here for the glasses like that. That's what I would do. Again, I'm just I'm not poking fun at anybody. I, I apologize. <laughs> No judgment here. This is a judgment-free zone. Because cartoons are just about having fun. That's all. All right. All right. Enough of the disclaimers. I always like to give a temple line indication. That really sets it off as more 3D, you know? What do you guys think? I think this one's my favorite one so far. And I thought this one was going to be the hardest. I don't know why. I just did. I don't know. We got any more to do? I don't know. I'm kind of tired, man. It's Monday night. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one more. All right. You guys are making me work. But I need a drink. Oh, this young lady. What's her name? Oh, I forget her name. Uh, what is it? Uh... Sorry, it's a grainy photo, guys. Yeah, I just... You get the idea. We'll try to draw her quick. I'm definitely seeing the eyes are wide apart. The cheeks are very wide. Smaller chin, but like a, a you know, a pronounced chin, but a smaller chin. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I forget this young lady's name. I apologize. Another great artist. Um, obviously. I. I. That's an I. Big ol' eyebrow. Eyes appear to be wider apart, kind of. These Crayolas are great 
for thick lines, you know. I love them. I don't think I can ever use a, a another mark. I don't know. I mean, I could if I had to, right? I don't want to do the glasses yet. But that nose is not very long. It's a down shot, so it looks a little odd here. And what's really going on, you know? I don't know if her nose is actually doing that, but that's what she's getting. Here we go. Should have made her lip a little bigger. But eh. Pronounced chin, but a smaller chin. All right, you ready for these cheekies? Boom. Boom, there we go. What next? What next? Glasses. Now let's do that hairline. See, there is some space between the eyebrow and that hairline, and it's a little choppy, but a little straight. Getting some buggies in here. All right. Um, let's do the... I bounce around a lot. It's part of my ADD. Sorry. Uh, let's do the body quick. Um, she's got some tattoos. I think they're birds. Alrighty. And the hair. I think I made her eyebrows too dark. I don't know. I'll find out in a second. Hang on. Now the glass, it's going to come together once I put the glasses on her. Watch. So that's what she looks like without glasses, folks. I hate when people sit down for me and take their glasses off. I'm like, no, that's you. And then it's like, they're like wondering why it doesn't look like them. Uh, hello, because you're used to seeing yourself with glasses. Any other artists have that problem? All right. I like it. I give it a, I give it a solid B+. Plus. I forget her name. I'm sorry, young lady. I forget your name. Is it Haley? No. Let's shade it in quick. She's beautiful. I, I think she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Um, all these artists are. Yeah, when you do the shading, it really brings it together, right? You guys got to check out my last video. <laughs> of the warden, the executioner. Guys, you got to check that out. And you got to click the link in my description of that video to watch the interview with him. Guys, you're missing, you're missing out, man. 
there's so much good content on that soft white underbelly channel. You guys got to go watch that. Go watch that interview with him, the warden. In October, we're going to be doing creepy caricatures. We're going to be drawing serial killers, guys. I know you don't want to hear it, but we're going to be drawing Ed Kemper. Um, a few other ones, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I think that's it. We got time for any more? I don't know. What are we at? 35 minutes? I'd rather end on a high note because I'm, I'm, I'm really hurting right now. <laughs> so let's review and tell me your favorite, your favorite caricatures. Yeah, I seem to get better as I go, you know. The first one is okay, usually. So we got Alany. Alany Jamirez, the world's fastest caricature artist, I believe. He received the award for that. You got this young lady. I like that look with the larger forehead and the wide nose and the eyes. She's got a lot going on there. Interesting drawing that one was. I love this guy. This guy. We'll call him. He's yucking it up. I can just hear his voice. Yuck, 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 yuck. Wow, this guy screams cartoons, doesn't he? And then we have this young lady. I really like this one. It's very sweet. Very, very, um, it just comes together nice. It speaks to me. So does this one. But those are the drawings, guys. Thanks so much. Go get that book. The link is in the description. It's by Manny Avetisian, ultimatecaricatureguidebook.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember, in cartooning, anything is possible, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Like and share and comment on the video and subscribe. We'll see you next time.